We're going to review our vocabulary words. Marine biology. What is marine biology? Just you study can study of say, marine life. Alexa, go home. Okay, Alexa wanted to be part of our biology lesson. Okay. Okay, let's say the answer's not like robotic and not shouting, just like in a normal tone, okay? So first I want to give like an overview of what this is going to contain. They're all, all of the units are all set up the same way. So this one in particular has 12 lessons. Some of them have eight or nine, some of them have 15 or 16. Um, so you can go here and there's a science journal and that is right here. These come, you will see, so you'll only need one of these books per family, but for each student that's participating, they're gonna need their own journal. So they have a grades three to six and then they have a grades seven to eight. There's a science wall and that is, they say you can cut out these vocabulary words and place them on a science wall. We've never done that. I just keep them in the book and keep them all together. It's just easier for us. But you do it however you like to do. Lesson prep, um, the activities and experiments. And if you're not a huge activities and experiments person or you just don't have the items or forgot to get them, we've all been there. All of their experiments are on thegoodandthebeautiful.com. So you can just watch them. And there's not a whole lot of experiments in this specific one that we've come across yet, um, but a lot, some of them have a lot more experiments and we have really taken advantage of just watching them. Uh, there's videos. So if every a few lessons are gonna have like a little, kind of like a documentary about whatever topic you're talking about. Older children, I just mentioned that they're gonna have um, the journals. So third to six will have these journals, seventh to eighth, another one. So, and then it also comes with these two recommend, or doesn't come, you have to purchase them separately. This is dive and this is dangerous sea creatures. So I'll just show real quick what this looks like. Um, they're not part of the lessons, but you can use them whenever you like. Um, we, I've been wait, reading this, I kind of broken it down into several lessons. So instead of reading the whole book, I will just take a few minutes and read a few pages before or after the lesson. And then we haven't gotten to this one yet, but I'm going to start this one next lesson, Dangerous Sea Creatures. So it just gives like little facts. Um, about different animals and uh, we I don't always get these extra books but I have this one and we have enjoyed them so far so then here is lesson extensions this is again if you have a grade step seven to eighth even maybe a sixth grader honestly could do that and this is the book they recommend supplies needed per it's broken down per lesson and then again the vocabulary words for the whole unit and then it's going to get started right into it so it's always going to give a little bit of the preparation any supplies that you would need experiment or activity supplies and then it's going to get started right into the lesson i will say these lessons are a lot shorter in this newer version than they were in the older version the older version took like 45 minutes to an hour these take maybe 20 minutes. So I like that. I like that they're a little bit shorter. I like that it's all put together for you. The old version had, you had to put all of these units together. You had to put the student journals together. It was, it took a lot of prep work. So I really like that this all comes nice and finished for you. So here's just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. And if this is not enough, you're like, hey, I want to get into more depth. Like we have taken a few animals that we have found interesting. And I just look at some YouTube videos and we kind of watch to get more information about that. You can order, get more books. Um, you can get as deep or not as you'd like. So here is kind of what the book is going to look like. And I'll show more in just a minute as I get to the specific lesson that we are going to be getting into. So we're doing lesson eight today. The prep is cut out the character tiles on the bottom of the sea turtle or turtle page. So that is this page. So I actually, instead of like tear, tearing this out, I'm trying to keep everything in here in case I want to resell it. So I had Larissa make a copy. So she is going to cut that out for us. Um, and that's just one way to preserve this in case you want to do it again, or like I said, sell it. So 
So science wall, review the words that have been placed on your science wall so far. Again, I don't cut anything out of here. What I do is just go through it in the book. It's all together. Okay. All the vocabulary words are all together. Um, so I don't do that. And then the picture activity, we are gonna show the pit girls this picture and then ask them some questions. We're gonna do a marine reptiles activity. So in the student journal, this is grades three to six. My first grader, I could have bought her one of these and she would have been fine along with it. So first, second grade, I think could be fine with it as well. Um, maybe, I don't know if it's your oldest one you wanna use it with them, but if you have a younger one who wants to tag along, I think it would be fine. So you can kind of get an idea. Um, this one might be a little bit tricky for a littler one, but so far we've been really loving this book. It's like really colorful, has lots of different elements to it. So we are, this is lesson eight. So this is the activity that they will be doing with this one. And almost every, I think every lesson, almost every lesson has them working in the journal. Okay. So then read to the children about these different types of marine life. Lay out this sea turtle activity. So that is what we'll do at the very end. And then lesson eight extension. Um, if you have a seventh or eighth grader, their student journal is gonna be seventh to eighth. So it's gonna look different than this. It's gonna have, um, I believe it's still gonna have, I, I might be wrong. I believe it's still gonna have all of this in there, but it's gonna have extension lessons. So basically just a page with more information, more detailed information and more like experiments or activities or research or something on their end that they can do just to make it a little more age appropriate. And then that will be it. That is a whole, whole lesson. What is the ocean, Lola? How many oceans are there? Seven. No, not seven. Or is that how many Six. oceans? No. Five. Five. The say them out loud. Atlantic. Pacific. Pacific. Indian. Indian Arctic. South. And southern. Southern. Yep. All right. What are the oceanic pelagic zones? You don't have to tell me what those are, but just like generally what they are. Like, what uh, is that? It divides the ocean into different parts. Yes. Yes. And there's different creatures who live in each part and different part of, um, they also different get amounts of sunlight. different amounts of sunlight, different temperatures, things different like that. Um, amounts of like pressure. Okay. Lola, what's high tide? High tide, Loli. Lola? Hello? Is she alive? Okay, Laura, so what's that means she's alive. What's high tide? A lot. No. High tide is like when the water is high. When the water reaches its highest point along the shore. And what contributes to the tides? High tide and low tide? The moon. The moon. Okay. And what is low tide? When it's lower. When the water is the lowest point along the shore. Um, yeah, the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. How many high tides are there a day, Lola? Two. Two. How many high tide, two. low tides? Yep, two high tides and two low tides. The intertidal zone, do you guys remember what that one? <laughs> okay, so look at this picture. Okay, so we're, here's this picture, all right? Awesome. It's no. Don't. a sea turtle thing. Yeah. Okay, what do you think, what type of animal do you think this is? Uh, it's a sea turtle fin. You think it's a sea turtle? What do you think, uh, Lily? I think it's a sea turtle fin. Okay. What do you notice about its skin? Um, is that there's like, it's a pattern of its skin and it's divided into little sections. It's okay. not a pattern, but yeah, it's divided into little sections. Segmented. How many different kinds of animals do you think can have skin that's similar to this? Mm, probably a lot. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. Could be. All right, so look at this picture. This is labeled a sea turtle. So Larissa was correct. I was correct. I was correct. Very good. C 
sea turtle. It has barnacles on it. Look. Does it? Mm -hmm. Ew, gross. I feel like it's not that gross. I find barnacles gross. Mm -hmm. Okay, what the picture you observed was a close up of the sea turtle. What are other characteristics you notice about the sea turtle? Mm, let me see it again. Mm. That it it walks like a seal, kind of. It walks like a seal. The surface. Uh, maybe. Uh, it has really wrinkly skin, especially the neck. Oh yeah, its neck is quite wrinkly. It looks like an old man. Mm. Looks like a ninety-year-old lady or man who's always like baked in the sun and never put on sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Their skin's all leathery. Sea turtles are reptiles. Reptiles have scaly skin. Mm -hmm. They lay eggs on land. Mm -hmm. And they're ectothermic. What do you think ectothermic means? Let's try to think mm -hmm. about it. Ectothermic. Thermic me means temperature. Means like heat. Mm -hmm. What's well, ecto? Ectothermic. Ecto. Do you know what endo means? No. Endo means inside. Ecto means outward. So outward heated, which means, okay, which means their body temperatures will be the same as their environment. So yeah, so basically whatever, if it's cold, cold outside, then it's gonna be cold, blah, blah, blah. Unlike fish, they have lungs and breathe air. Sea turtles cannot breathe underwater, but they can hold their breath for several, what? Hours? Seconds, minutes, or hours. Hours. Hours, very good. Well, I can't see. All I see is hair. All I see is hair. Okay, so go to your marine um, reptiles page. Oh, yes. There's many different types of marine reptiles. We're going to discuss four of them today. Follow along in your journal and circle the correct answer, okay? Mm -hmm. We have is called the saltwater crocodile. Most crocodiles live in freshwater, but there are a few that live in saltwater. Some species are less aggressive than others, and some crocodilian mothers build a nest for their eggs and guard them until they hatch. So here's the picture. Is this okay. one? No, that's not a crocodile. What Another. A marine. You gotta wait. Another marine reptile is the sea snake. These snakes have flat tails that work like paddles to help them swim. <laughs> Like a human with a tail. That looks see. like a human with a tail. Let me see. What Let kind of human have you been looking at? <laughs> I don't know. A crazy human. <laughs> Before their hair out. Yeah. Oh gosh. Let me what see. The... <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. We've already mentioned sea turtles, but let's learn more about them. Sea turtles lay eggs on land. They are usually in the same. Um, usually in the same place where they were hatched. Oh, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I gave birth, birth to you in the same hospital I was born in, Lily. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the largest sea turtle found was a leatherback sea turtle and it weighed more than 900 kilograms or 2,000 pounds. Sheesh, so that's like over a ton. Yes, no, a ton is 2,000 pounds, okay? Okay, so we're here is the sea turtle activity that we're going to do right now. I've never heard of a sea turtle weighing a ton. First, let's establish what is the sea turtle and what is the This regular... is the sea turtle. This is the pine turtle. <laughs> Did she take your answer, Larissa? Okay, so this is the sea turtle, yes. Oh. So what we're going to do... Sea turtles can't pop their heads in the shell. Well, oh, <laughs> okay. So we're going to get these character character traits and you each grab a few and it doesn't matter. Just, no, 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 you've got too many, baby. Give some to your sister. You got too many. All right, I'm gonna read the characteristics or I'll help Lola. Okay, Larissa, you go first, babe. Can't pull inside its shell. That's Cannot so pull inside its shell. Yes, this is hey, I wanted that. Oh, okay. Read this one, Lola. Does not have guy. No, sound it out. Guy, no. my 
god. Ah. She can't read the word migrate. Does not migrate. migrate. What does migrate mean? Like move uh, places where you live. So which uh, one does not migrate? This one. Turtle. The sea turtle does. I, migrate. That didn't count because I didn't know. Oh, I didn't actually. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, go ahead, Larissa. Um, hmm. lives in on land and in fresh water. The turtle lives on land and fresh water. Here is the answers on the bottom. If you need them, so in case you're not sure, does it have web feet? Has webbed feet. Which one has webbed feet? Does web the sea turtle? Oh, apparently it's the turtle. Dad! Hey, these are tricky. Okay, Larissa seems to know them all. Go ahead, Larissa. Does not have claws. That's because she all... Does not have claws. So well, that one was an easy... Larissa's getting all the easy ones. You're getting the tricky That's, ones. That's... Yeah, <laughs> I have the hearing one. I mean, how am I supposed to okay. know? Okay. Has one? claws. There we go. Has claws. Which one has claws? There we go. The regular turtle has claws. Okay, go ahead, Laris. I'm just going to guess for this. What is the question? Has good hearing. I think this one. Has good hearing? Let me check. Um, I'm just using logic. Please no. Has good hearing. Er, sea turtle. I need But why that. would it need to hear? It's underwater. Uh, maybe it has, like, echo maybe, location. I don't know. Maybe it's because it needs to hear its, um, what it does. Yeah, could be. I don't think it has predators. These, this word is some migrate great distances. Okay, which one migrates great distances? This the one? sea turtle. No, it's gonna be the sea turtle. I, I was, I was switching. Okay, that. because remember, like on Finding Nemo, when they follow, follow the sea turtles. Larissa, get it out of your mouth, please. Oh, but it tastes so good. Okay. <laughs> um, and then Larissa, what's your last one? Most do not hear well. Most do not hear well. Okay, obviously, process of elimination. Okay, well, uh, this one says lives in the lives in lives in the ocean ocean except when nesting. Which one lives in the ocean except for when it's nesting? Well, I mean, let's think about it. Sea turtle, turtle. Which one do you think lives in the ocean? Sea turtle, turtle. There you go. Good job, baby. Okay. All right. So that is the end of your lesson. We know you already won. Melissa, she won. This wasn't a competition, sweetie. Mm, sort of was. Me and Mom made it a competition. So that really was like what a typical lesson would look like for us. Um, nothing they don't like I said they don't take a whole long time which is nice if you're kind of like you don't want to spend an hour on science the lessons are shorter but you can always add more if you would like and more to get into depth the reason I like these is because you can learn about a topic for a couple weeks and then move on so you're not spending a whole year on a subject but you're getting a good amount of knowledge rather than just <laughs> So you're able to study maybe like four different topics throughout the year, which I really, I like that, that it kind of changes things up and you're able to choose which ones you like. So we really enjoy it. I'm excited for some of the ones that we're gonna choose for next year. I can't wait to use them. We've already picked out what we're gonna be using. So if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. That would be so helpful to me. I would really, really appreciate it. If you wanna subscribe for more homeschooling content just like this, uh, I'd love to have you here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.